Hi y'all, it's Yojo. It's 2 a.m. and apparently deciding not to see the third movie, well, not deciding not to watch the movie series of Rebuild has released the Neon Genesis Evangeline Wrath upon my brain. So right now I'm going to talk about the original 90s series and its ending. So to start off, to make all what I'm about to discuss make sense, there is the ending that happened in the episodes, which would be, of course, the last episode. I think there's 24 episodes, so what I'm going to be talking about is a reference of what I can remember from episode 23 and 24. And then there's the movie, End of Even... You know the word. Where all that crazy shit happens that people like to talk about and make the fan depictions of and whatnot. But I'm going to... Now that I've said that, I'm going to say that I prefer the ending that happened in the show. And nothing against any of you EOE fans. EOE is a great movie. It, I mean, it had everything it needed to really, 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 really fuck your mind hard. But it's like after watching already 22 episodes of it, it's like episode 23 and 24 were like the big relief. And it was like when Shinji actually had his revelation. And it's like he didn't have a revelation in EOE and that's disappointing. This is what I think happened at the end of the um, movie, not the movie, of the show. The ending that I prefer. Um... What we saw in the previous episode, either episode 23 or 24, most likely 23 if it's 24 episodes, where Shinji was friends with Asuka and his mom and dad were alive and, you know, normal, and they met Rei as a transfer student and Masato as a teacher, I think that that is the world that took place after he rejected instrumentality. Because as EOE is the completely alternate route to what happened, to the show's ending, I'm thinking that as he rejected instrumentality, so did the rest of the world. And the world that we're looking at in the end is the normal Earth that exists without the impacts and the angels and the giant robots fighting to save the Earth. Now that's what I think. And since there is nothing to contradict my headcanon, I can keep it. Now as for what happened at the end of EOE, it's like totally depressing I mean great fight scene with Asuka of course and it's like it had all the scenes that everybody likes like the scene where Shinji jerked off to Asuka which didn't happen in the show and just everything all the fucked up that could ever happen happen and it's like um I mean, it's for who I am it's like which ending would you prefer the one where you can like have like a whole theory like this is what happened I was seeing is how there's nothing to say that this didn't happen this happened and even though this isn't really evidence of it happening you can say this is evidence like what I just did with the alternate world that in that Shinji saw and his mind visual of him being a normal teenager living a normal life with Asuka who still had the connection clips on for some reason I don't know and you know just stuff like that I prefer that over okay now they're on this big red bloody ball of fuck there are no other people on there except Shinji and Asuka who's kind of like in a coma I guess right now and Ray's head is split open in the sea of quote unquote blood LCL whatever and the people aren't dead they're just not alive anymore because the people are the LCL now making them not people and just all kinds of fuck it's like the movie d where uh, okay you ask where does the show go from its ending where the fuck can the can the characters go from the ending that was in the movie at least we have this nice pretty alternate world to look at that happened in the show we don't have that kind of shit in the movie <laughs> it's not I, 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 I don't want to make it sound like I am calling the idea that the EOE people have stupid because it's not everybody can come up with their own ideas of course I'm sure that's what they intended from this that's another part of what makes the show so great you can come up with your own creative theories and there's nothing to say you're wrong so you're right but I don't see why we have to argue about it and so on and so forth but there's just one thing that got under my skin there are some people that think that what happened in the show was how they put it inside Shinji's mind and what happened in the movie was outside of Shinji's mind. I don't even understand what that means, let alone how that would even make sense. 
I, I try to understand it. The the closest I got was apparently Shinji suddenly s- fucking lost his mind and now he's hallucinating and he's living in an alternate reality somehow staring at a raised giant head split in half in an ocean of what looks like blood alongside an unconscious Asuka. That's, that's what? That's what you're saying? But <laughs> the same, that's how I see it. I'm so serious. But at the same time, it's like, well... If this happened inside Shinji's mind, that happened outside Shinji's mind, what's happening in Asuka's mind? You can't answer that, can you? But, um, it, it's not so much, what am I saying here? I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, it's like, I don't just believe it's an alternate path. It's been confirmed by the creator that it's an alternate path. EOE picks up at episode 22 or 23 or somewhere in those final episodes. I think it's 24 episodes, so EOE would pick, have to pick up at episode 22. Uh, I don't really remember. Before everything went to fuck, that's where EOE picks up and then takes everything on into fuck, whereas the show takes on everything into fuck with its path. It's an alternate route. It's not connected. Stop trying to make it sound connected when you know it's not. And, oh crap, this is almost seven minutes. I'm gonna go now. Bye.